Hey, look, it's All Might. Uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think All Might is rad. I think he's going to be the first character that I try to put together because he's, like, the best. He's my, he's my favorite character, for sure, for sure. And, um, he, he's really cool. <laughs> he's just cool. Um, we're talking about Detroit Smash. Uh, Smash is a, uh, six mid six. It's a six two. It's a lot of, uh, a lot of commitment you have to do to, to run smash but ex2 powerful 2 discard momentum grab all of this um all might enhance permanent release your character's hand size by one draw three cards uh i think this card is insane lubrication to make your character work so much so that the six two being a risk is worth it do i prefer uh all, all might to gen con all might so we've got all might uh this all might here Oh, which we can't see on screen. We've got this All Might here, which was a Gen Con promo. And we have seen, I believe, that he is All Might 3 in uh, in the, the packs. I want to say there was one commercial that, that showed him. Um, And I think that this All Might could, pound for pound, be the best character in the game. And so I'm not going to build him to start off with because I think that we're going to be seeing him all over the place. This guy, this guy could be the best character in the game. Um, Drawing two free cards every turn. Um, being able to get speed or damage for each card your opponent has, like, it's just, it's just ultra strong. Like, it's super, it's super, super good. Um, yeah, this card is great. And, like, if you absolutely need to, you can just, like, smash, uh, you can just jam Detroit Smash inside of this All Might and, like, let it rock and just feel good about it. Missouri Smash. Um, it's a 4-3-3 three, three high for 5. It's very slow. Man, I wonder how we can fix the speed of that card. Uh, <laughs> it is a punch. If it's attack deals damage, build the next foundation you play face up. Really synergizes well with him wanting to draw a bunch of extra cards. And so if we can force uh, a card to be built in the middle of our chain, it could be uh, more flow for the, the rest of our turn. And then if a punch, punch deck is dealt damage this turn, draw a card. So it's if a punch attack has dealt damage, and we've already seen at least one punch throw inside of uh, somebody else's kit. And so if there are any more punch throws, um, this card's going to be just drawing more, more, more. And the fact that, like, we probably, with Missouri Smash, we don't uh, jam our uh, pump on it from from All Might, uh, it's probably going to gonna hit, right? So we will probably get to build the card. Which is, like, just feels great. Um, Smash. <laughs> Look at the art of this card. Look at him. <sighs> this, this art's sick. Uh, five, three, one mid block, four mid for six. Stats. We love stats. Man, that one mid block is juicy. Fury Punch. If this attack is blocked, your rival flips one foundation. Great. I think this card's going to be all over the place in a, in sealed, or in, in limited play. Sealed and, and draft. Uh, I'm not sure this card makes the cut most of the time for in constructed decks, but if you are looking for a good, a, just a good move, right? Four mid for six is like a, a beautiful opening card, and uh, if your opponent just doesn't want to take six damage, we got it. <laughs> oh, we got them. Uh, Missouri Smash freaking slaps. I love any cards that encourage mix ups. I love playing as Axe Foundations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. I think this card, this card in relation to his character and like his kit and what he wants to do, is really, really intelligent design. It's that doesn't have like the best block. Like we're sitting here over here looking at a zero high and a one mid. So like a two high is like not a, not amazing. It's good. Standard flip decks, OP, OP. Uh, the, if this is the card that you're going for for your um uh. If this is the card that you're going for in standard for your flip abilities, it's going to be pretty good. Uh, sure is a good thing. All Might 3 won't have Arrogant Overconfident in standard going second, huh? Arrogant and Overconfident. I don't even remember what that card does. Free, what does that card do? Arrogant and Overconfident. Arrogant? I have to go look up UFS cards. <laughs> Arrogant and overconfident. Where are you? It's not on UFS Ultra. Rough. It must be a DLC card. Frivol has. Oh, that's right. It, it is a. Uh, 
It's the Tangu Man card. Why, Tim, why are you coming in here messing with me? Why are you coming in here messing with me, huh? You're funny. You're funny. And then our last card, Texas Smash. Uh, the art on this card is stunning. I love the background punches. Uh, four diff, three, or sorry, yeah, four diff, three check, one mid block. Once again, his block zones are fantastic. It's a four high for three, Fury Punch combos with a punch. And the combo keyword for all of my new kids is if the card directly before it has the word punch as a keyword, um, we get to unlock the ability of combo enhance. This deck is plus four damage. And so this is actually like a four high for seven, like 99% of the time. And then enhance, discard a card. Your next deck this turn gets plus four damage. Wow. So if we want, if we want to, we could like start off with Texas Smash and then play Detroit Smash. And this is like a six mid for ten. Huh. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> so this wowzers, wowzers, wowzers. Yeah, this card. Uh, this card's pretty good. Not to mention we can give uh, whatever move we need to powerful at the at the end of it, right? Because uh, because of All Might himself. Whew. Yeah, this is a this is a this is a good little attack package. I love smash uh, smash being like the first thing that you play, and so uh, they don't want to block it. It's not blocked, so we get to draw a card, um, and then from there we can like Texas smash into Detroit smash to hit them for uh, eighty five million damage. This is this is like this is like exactly what you want out of a four attack package inside of a character. It synergizes super well with our character as well. This is this is great. Good job. We have Celebrity Status, Enhance Flip, add one of your momentum to the top of your deck. Uh, this is really good because of Missouri Smash being able to draw a card, as well as we can just uh, like play Detroit Smash, um, build our, uh, our, our play whatever attack. It doesn't necessarily going to be Detroit Smash. If it's Detroit Smash, we're probably going to spend our momentum on, a, on All Might. Um, but we play Missouri, we stack our card, and then you... Uh, uh, like Free says, you, you form on the face and then you guarantee draw an attack as opposed to trying to find a, a random one. 1-5-2 one, mid block. This is great. Yeah. Um, it can't be fixed. Actually disgusting art. Yuck. <laughs> I'm going to have to look at this all day. <laughs> it can't be fixed. Ew. It's a 0-5 with a 1 high block. Okay, let's stop right now. These block zones are like insane. They're They're crazy good. Response flip after you commit any number of cards due to your rival's effect to build the top card of your deck face down. Okay, so like uh, if it's a, if your opponent stun ones you, you'll commit this, flip it, and then build one. So you plus the foundation for like the course of the game, and you didn't lose that foundation because of it, you get to ready one because you've built a, a fresh one off the top. That's great. This is, this is a stunning spam. Um, a one or zero diff this is my colloquialism. Wowzers. That card's good. I don't know if it's going to be like a four of in everything, but like this is this is pretty good. Um, the blocks on the whole set are real good. That's good. I love uh, I, I want I want I hope that doesn't mean that like speeds get crazy because then you get caught with like like if six mid for six is like the standard and our block zones are like nutty. Um, it's fine, but like we're going to get caught with like a bad one in our hand and feel bad about it. Uh, we got two more all my cards. Pull no punches. It's a 3-5 with a 2 high block. Enhance, destroy, add one punch attack from your card pool to your momentum. Huh. This card's nutty. This card's insane. <laughs> this card's insane. Deadlock enhance, your punch attack gets 2 speed and stun 1. Wow. You. This card is such a solid deadlock card. Wow. This is insane. Okay, so here's the here's the line, ladies and gentlemen. We play four pull my punches on turn one because we're nuts, <laughs> because we're crazy. Um, we just play Texas Smash to discard and give uh my next move plus four damage, and then we play Detroit Smash. Obviously, we pull no punches to steal our momentum for Detroit Smash, and then discard our three uh, discard the momentum. And then add three cards. Excuse me. We'll commit our character first, obviously, after we have formed and drawn three cards. And then we'll just put 21 damage on this card. Right? Right? Because we... I guess we play one, discard one. 
and play. Yeah, if we like find this and like check two fives in a row, I think we just hit them for their entire life total, especially like on turn two. Yeah, yeah. If if somebody just wants to go all out and just like hit, hit them for a million, <laughs> this this is the way we do it. <laughs> and then they block and you lose. Nah, we're fine. They don't block. <laughs> Blocking's bad. Maybe that's why we have all these uh, uh, crazy blocks is because we just get to dumpster people on turn two sometimes. I dig it. I dig it. And the last all my card, you're so obvious. Look at you. You're so obvious. Our first and only three difficulty block in a... Uh... You can get a 25 damage if you're trying to high roll on turn two. Yeah, man. I'm down to high roll with a six mid for 25. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, uh, enhance destroy return this attack to its printed speed. If it's a punch attack, it gets plus two damage. Return destroy a punch attack to its printed damage. If it's a if it's a punch attack, it gets plus two speed. Okay, so even better. Okay, even better. <laughs> it's now low, it's no longer a six mid. It's an eight mid because the first thing that I'll do is I'll put it back to printed speed or printed damage and give it uh, plus two. And then we'll snap our momentum, and then we'll... <laughs> Woo! This is rad. It's also, like, really cool of, uh, like, your opponent's thing. This is just, like, an inherent uh, damage uh, damage or speed reducts for uh, any any attack, right? Because even, even if, it, like, like, we don't even necessarily care if the, the move gets plus two damage if we're going to give it... Uh, if we're going to return it to speed and then block, and we don't care about the speed if we're just going to return it to damage and not block, right? As long as it's like a little baby move. Like, imagine just like returning Texas Smash to its printed. I'll take three. That sounds rad. <laughs> it's it's very fast. You got me. It's a, it's interesting that you're so obvious actually just like counters All Might like completely. <laughs> I'll enhance commit. My move gets powerful of a million. Uh, actually, actually though, you're just so obvious that you cannot play that ability. Your opponent's gonna put three of these on the board, and you're you're gonna all might's gonna feel real bad. Hmm. Maybe uh, maybe that's why we have to flip some stuff. All in all, I think his kit feels amazing. Actually, I think his kit is really really solid. As a five hander, stun is an issue, so we get to rebuild. He gets to go guarantee find some attacks. He gets to guarantee find some momentum. And he gets to damage reset. I, I, th we've got, we've got aggro, flow, disruption. Is there disruption? No disruption, just aggro defense. We got flow cards. Yeah, there's no disruption in his kit, but I'm sure we can find it elsewhere. Uh, all in all, I approve of All Might. Yeah, I think he's going to be a very basic character, and um, he's going to give. He's going to give a lot of a lot of new players like a, a real fun way to play the game. And I think a lot of veterans are going to go and dumpster people. Dumpster people. <laughs> if I try to high road kiddos all day, I'm going to thump me the noggin. Come to Omaha and thump me, dude. Come to Omaha and thump me. <laughs> I'm in. I, I will tell you, if I see a pull no punches and I have like a good solid three build... I and I, next turn I see Texas or any attack and then Detroit smash. I'm going. I'm gonna murder people on turn two. It's gonna happen. They're just gonna have to get over it. <laughs> um, chat and comments. What's your guys' thoughts on All Might? Are you liking him? Is he is he cool? Let me uh let me see if I can get this work in real fast. How are we looking here? I got a poll. Um, thoughts? Rad, meh, nah. <laughs> uh, one for rad, two for meh, three for nah. I'd love to. I'd love to hear your uh, hear your thoughts as I as I read chat. Um, I'm gonna play stacker might in in standard. Yeah. Um, I don't think that all might one and uh, all might the Gen Con all might are like really together. Um. I don't think that they really, really combine well. 
Although giving your thing powerful and the bonus speed like might be might be big enough. Almost perfect example of design reflects his character lore, and I love his form weakening him in season one. Makes it the big thing. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Like a support, not a fan of the character's ability. Uh well Sean, why is that? Do you just not like how all in he is? Okay. Love the flavor. That card is not. No one needs fatality. Oh, that's fine. Um, okay, wild idea. Make small might copy himself. Why? Just so you can once per game again on this same turn? I mean, I guess. You get to have another discard of all might plus three draw. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. It looks like Chet says a resounding, yeah, we like the character. And I'm in agreement. I think this character is super, super cool. Yeah, so uh, my cool peeps on YouTube, because I'm for sure turning this into a YouTube video as well. What are you guys' thoughts? Let me know down in the comments down below. It'd be, uh, be very, very cool to uh, to see how you guys like the number one hero. And uh, with that, we're going to move on to Ochako.